Ti importa ancora di lei, vero? Non mentirmi! Fatti sotto. Quanti ragazzi devono prendere, torturare e uccidere? Quando finirà? Finirà quando troviamo la cura. During the trilogy, uh, Thomas became a leader, a true leader. Uh, we need strong leader today. Uh, yeah. In your opinion, which are the, the qualities that a good leader should have today? I think it's humility, mm. right? I think it's a big part of it. And it's also the, the ability to kind of listen to people around you and also to be fearless, <laughs> you know? Mm. Um, I think uh, fear drives a lot of people to make bad choices, you know what I mean? So I'd say those attributes are probably the, the biggest things that uh, you know, make, make for a good leader, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, the maid is, uh, is a, a huge metaphor. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know, in, uh, in your life, which does um, the maid mean for you? Yeah, it is that thing of the, the unknown. You know, mm. it's that idea of uh, around that corner, you're not sure what's there, but you have to go there. And that, that was a big thing that we really explored in that first movie um, in terms of the characters. You know, Thomas was the guy who would, you know, in the face of the unknown, in the face of danger, would go step forward while everyone else would step back. You know what I mean? Um, but you're right, it's, 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 it's in the maze in particular, it's always changing, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's lots of dangers out there. It's kind of a metaphor for growing up, essentially, and, and facing the real world, you know? So even in this last movie, it's really about sort of finding what this world is and deciding where you stand in the world and who you're going to be as a person, you know? So yeah, it's some cool metaphors. Uh, the character of Teresa um, has to... Um, she, she um, has to take... Um, I don't want to give spoilers. Uh, she has to make uh, a very difficult decision. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting because she uh, does um, a leap of faith in science. Right. I think it's very interesting. And today is, uh, is important because many people uh, are embracing alternative medicine and not true science. Yeah. So I think it's important. Which is your opinion? Yeah, I absolutely agree. It's, um, you know, science is super important for us, you know, <laughs> and uh, not only that, but people like Teresa, for instance, that are willing to kind of, you know, think about the greater good, which is kind of what makes her an interesting character in the movie. She's kind of, you know, you, a lot of people, I think, in the previous movie didn't like her very much mm. for what she did, but also in this movie, I think we challenged that a little bit, that, you know, she's doing what she thinks is right for the greater good, and that meant even even hurting herself, I think, you know, mm -hmm. which is cool, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, of bromance between <laughs> Thomas yeah. and, and Newt. Sure, <laughs> always has been. Yes, almost like Batman and that's Superman. Right. That's right, that's right. <laughs> It's, it's great. Um, <laughs> that's always been the kind of fun thing about these. That's what I was even attracted to in the books. That sense of brotherhood, that sense of mm -hmm. family, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the, the fact that they're willing to kind of do anything for each other. That's always been a really kind of, you know, fun thing to kind of explore. And um, yeah, it's, it's a nice quality that you don't see in a lot of movies, actually. But then comes Neo. <laughs> Do you know how much they say, Mino, it, it <laughs> should be a meme. <laughs> Mino! <laughs> yes. That's right, yeah. It's fun to say his name. <laughs> <laughs> like Carl in The Walking That's Dead. Right. Oh, That's Mino! Right. Mino! <laughs> <Yes>. Mino! <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yes. Um, you are very talented in doing action scenes. Thank you. Uh, the, the first one on the, on the train is really mm. amazing. It should be... It could be in an Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, totally. Yes. <laughs> I kind of actually looked at the third Indiana Jones movie, Last Crusade, mm. that opening train sequence. Um, I looked at that as kind of a, you know, a measuring stick for us, you know. It was a, it's a cool, fun kind of opening. It was like a western, but without mm. horses, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was, it was fun to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. That's it, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure, <laughs> yeah. Ti prego, Tommy. Ti prego.